If your subject is a bit out of focus or you need to use a low resolution clip in your film project, you can alter them with specific tools. Let's check them out. Good morning everyone, welcome back to Filmmaking Simplified, it's really nice to have you back. My name is Dom and this new series on the channel will focus on solving issues mostly in the post-production phase of a film or video. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a video that's out of focus sharper or upscale a low resolution video so you could use it for your project. So when you're starting out in filmmaking or videography, you're doing everything by yourself, right? It's easy to mess up the focus, for example, especially if you're filming yourself and you need to set it manually. It happened to me a thousand times, so if it's happening to you, don't worry. Now, if something is completely out of focus like this, there isn't much to do, it will never be perfect. But up to a certain level by sharpening the image, you can hide your mistake or at least make it acceptable. The program I'm going to use for this first task is DaVinci Resolve, which is a free editing software. I do have the studio version of it, but this task can be done also with the free one. So let's take this clip I made on purpose. As you can see, our actor is looking out the window and we have a close-up on his face. Now, when we have a close-up like this, it can be very apparent if the face or the eyes of the actor are not in focus. Exactly like in our example. Okay, let's get to work. You're gonna wanna go into the color grading tab from down here. Then by right-clicking on this node here, add a new one. We're going to sharpen this layer. The reason we needed to do this is because I don't want to sharpen the entire image, only a part of it. So in order to do that, the next thing we need to do is creating a mask. You can do that by clicking right here and then draw a path around the area with the pen tool. Down here, you can soften the edges so the effects applied to this layer blend in nicely to the entire image. Okay, now go over to the Sharpen tab. Choose the Sharpening option. Carefully set the right amount of sharpness. Because note that by sharpening the image, you're introducing noise into the image. You need to be careful as to how much sharpening you do. But I think this much that we've done here will be perfect. It's not the same as if it was recorded in focus already, but definitely better than it was. Now, alternatively, and it's not the best solution, but can help nonetheless, to hide the sharpening more, you can add a film grain layer to the video or film. A film grain is essentially a kind of noise, but the kind that actually makes the footage look more cinematic. So on one hand, you sharpen part of the clip, but you also make the rest more noisy. So in the end, everything blends into each other, creating a acceptable look. Or even a really good looking look. Like I think in our case, this clip is looking really good naturally, and I'm gonna be the Mr. Know Everything now, it's always best to take extra care while filming to have your subject in focus. That's why the job of a focus puller is so important. If you're wondering about the job of a focus puller, you can check out this short right up here, where I talk about the job of a focus puller. Okay, now let's talk about the other matter of today's video. In documentaries, listing style videos, but even in fictional films, they often show archives. Now, the thing about archive is that they're often not in the most pristine quality. And don't immediately think about black and white footage from a hundred years ago. Even the ones from 10, 15 years ago, when high quality wasn't accessible for everyone, can be low in quality for a current project that's in 4 or 6K. On a professional level, upscaling film archives is a very complicated, long and expensive process. So they basically first clean the film reels then scan them with an ultra high quality scanner, then VFX professionals, restorators, alongside with colorists, go over the footage frame by frame, color grading it and upscaling it. Sounds complicated? Well, it is, but for video projects and beginner films, the method I'll be showing to you is much simpler and obviously cheaper. And especially because we're talking about upscaling and restoring digital footage and not analog one. But let's hold on for a second. What is exactly upscaling? Upscaling is not the same as resizing. 
When you resize a video or image, what you do is effectively stretching out the existing pixels within the image. Just like when you're stretching out a piece of clothing, it gets bigger but the quality becomes worse. Upscaling, on the other hand, is adding extra pixels into the image. There are many AI tools today that can do this and while the upscaled footage won't necessarily look like as if it was originally recorded in a higher quality, when you put it in a higher quality project, you don't have to scale it up like this making the quality of it worse, because the resolution of the footage will be the same. It might sound complicated, but let's look at an example. Here is my first ever video where my entire journey in filmmaking started. This video is in 480p. It's how it was recorded, say, 11 years ago. If I were to put this in a 4K project that's 8 times bigger, it would be shown in the size relative to the project size. Simply put, it'd be really, really small. Now, if I scale it up, the quality of it becomes even worse. But let's check out what happens if I upscale it. Now, for the upscaling process, I'm going to use the AI Video Enhancer tool in the Uniconverter, which is also the sponsor of this video. In case you don't know what the Uniconverter is, it's a multimedia toolbox and it's pretty useful to have both for beginners and professionals because it can really help out in your workflow. So when you open up the tool, you'll find the AI Video Enhancer tool within the AI Lab. And when I import my video into the tool, I can choose between two and four times upscaling. So in case of my video here, the maximum resolution I can reach is 1968 by 1440, which is basically full HD. Already much better on a 4K timeline, right? Okay, now I'm gonna run the process. It can take some time, so let me grab a coffee in the meantime. Okay, that was good. Now let's import the upscaled video into our timeline. See, already much better. And if I compare it to the resized version, the difference is very apparent. So there you go, guys. Some tips for fixing out of focus issues or upscaling low quality footage. I hope it was helpful and you liked this new kind of video on the channel. There will be much more coming in the future. So if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to build a community here of future filmmakers. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one, guys.